questions. Yeah, well, uh, tell us your name, how you got here. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm from Boston, and I'm running the Bonnaroo's first annual beard and mustache competition. It's uh, this is the third trip on my leg. I started in San Francisco doing a benefit for uh, kids with left palates, and we had some world beer champions there. And followed by that, I went to Oregon to compete in national beard and mustache competition, competitive bearding. It's a serious sport. There was over maybe 300 people, and they tried to break the Guinness Book of Records for most beard and mustaches in one spot. And I'm going to break that Sunday night. Uh, so we're going to we're going to work on that. So hopefully everyone can partic participate. Uh, this year we've got four categories: best beard, best mustache, best partial beard and mustache, and then freestyle. Uh, I'm sorry, fake beard and mustache, which means anyone can enter. You get art on your face almost. You know, I want a lot of women to be, be uh, you know, don't feel like they're discriminated against. You know, you're in it. Everyone's in it to win it, and the winners get two VIP passes for next year in each category, and runners-up get a general admission pass for next year. Also, VIP uh, like merch packs and DVDs and T-shirts, and it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited, yes. So everyone come out every day, 6 o'clock, at the solar stage. How long have you been working on your beard? Uh, this is actually one year old since last Bonnaroo. And if you notice, it, uh, it can curl around. It's uh, not waxed right now, so we may uh, do a little upkeep later. But I have not strayed from the style for one year since last Bonnaroo. And Les Claypool, he's here today. Uh, and also, Conan O'Brien, if you're watching, please come out to solar stage and represent. Thank you. <laughs>